But first things first, and when you woke up this morning, sadly, the headlines that greeted you on the Sunday papers read like this. In the Sunday press, it was bloodbath. and the Sunday Observer, hawks and cats riot. Shane Castleman prepared this report for Seven National News last night. The match was a hard-fought battle in every sense of the word. The brawling started in the last quarter when Jacko copped one as he went for a mark and decided to go on with the business. Only a few minutes later, the umpire's notebooks were out again as Jacko was in the thick of it once more. Oh, boy! Langford. Then Lee Matthews decided to live up to his lethal reputation by stopping Geelong's Neville Bruns cold in his tracks. This incident escaped the umpire's attention, but not that of the Geelong players as they swarmed in on Matthews, who received some instant retribution. Time now for the first of our club corners on World of Sport. Opposing coaches from yesterday's clash between the Hawks and the Cats, Tom Hafey and Alan Jeans, talking about the game with Peter McKenna. Well, firstly to you, Tom, are you disappointed with the undisciplined performance of some of your players? I'm talking as regards the reports and the Jackson incident in the last five minutes. Yes, I think that we probably blew any chance that we had of winning the match when uh, it all erupted, of course. And I'm, you know, always disappointed with reports. I can't say too much about them, of course, but I'll, I just feel that uh, man can probably only take so much, and that's as far as I'm prepared to go. Now, Tom, why didn't you take Jackson off? Well... Did you think about it? He yeah. lost control. I think you'd agree with that. Yes, I can see that he was completely uh, frustrated. Uh, but, uh, you know, the game still had to be won, and we didn't have anybody to bring on, so I would have been playing men short as you're probably aware, but um, even so, uh, um, well, you're still hoping to be able to win the match. You've got a better chance of winning with 18 men than 17 men. You're a real player's man, Tom. You always have been, haven't you? Yes, Peter. Nothing wrong uh, with uh, that. Uh, uh. Now, Alan, you've always been, you're a man of standing in football, a great name in football. Uh, you've always believed in the hard game and the fair game. Have you got any comment to make about the fact that two of your players this year have been involved in king hits behind the play? Well, you say two. I don't remember the two incidents, but <clears throat> if you're referring to yesterday, I think, um, you know, firstly, I just want to say that we don't condone anything. The game must be paramount in everybody's opinion, but uh, I think because we don't condone uh, this type of play, and if you've been to any coaches conference that I've been to that I've rejected even players running in because I've always had the when there's a bit of a Barney on or anything like that because I always believe that we've got to do the right thing by the game I always believe that once you take on a position such as mine that you have a sense of responsibility to the game as same as you have a responsibility of the game from where you sit and comment all right now I believe there's a certain element in the VFL, because I've adopted certain tactics and refused to do these things, that they've been under a false misapprehension if they had developed these tactics. Now I'm saying it is an untrue misapprehension to believe in that, all right? Now that's all I'm going to say about it. Well, I think there's a lot of Hawthorne supporters out there and Geelong supporters. A guy has got a broken jaw in two places, Alan. Uh, did you speak to the player concerned after the game? Have you given your opinion or...? Uh, Peter, if you want to continue with this discussion, and this morning you selected two things. You wanted to go back and dig skeletons out of the cupboard. Now, I can just say to you, there's certain incidents just happened recently. Now, if you want to go back, it's just as embarrassing for your club. I can recite incidents against the club that you played for. The same as against Geelong. If you want to go back into these incidents. Now, I think you have a certain responsibility to the game, the same as I do. I said I don't condone the thing, and I left it at that. Now, you want to continue with it. Now, just leave it at that at this particular stage. Thanks, uh, Tom, and thanks, Alan. Thank you, Peter. Tell them, Tom, we have the hockey hams and the bacon for you there. The one you've had it before. Oh, I've had it before. And you've had it before. Do you know how good it is? Right. And we have Mrs. Boyd, of course, for washing your clothes and so forth. You hold that for a very long, please. And we have also McMahon's Pure Honey Tea for you. 